Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Service Webb. Glad you all could join us once again, both for our radio audience here in Mississippi at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com. We're glad that you all could be with us. Also, just joining us for our friends at iHeartRadio and Amazon Music Podcast. We're glad you all could be with us as well. This is part of our News You Can Use segment, and this is dealing with your bone health. Did you know that about 14 million Americans aged 50 and older have the bone disease known as osteoporosis. Today is recognized as World Osteoporosis Day. It's a perfect time for us to talk about bone basics, and we have the perfect guest here to do it for us. We're excited to welcome Dr. Andrea Singer to our program. She is the Chief Medical Officer at the National Osteoporosis Foundation. We're going to talk to her not only about what you need to know when it comes to heading into the cooler months if you're dealing with osteoporosis, but also some of the things that you can do for yourself to make sure that you're taking care of your bone health as well. Dr. Singer, thank you so much for the time. I really appreciate it. Oh, my pleasure to be here, both for World Osteoporosis Day, and it's an exciting day for us at the National Osteoporosis Foundation as we're announcing our rebrand today, which really now encompasses all aspects of bone health. As you mentioned, this is important for all of us to think about. So true. And so, Dr. Singh, let's begin there because it was interesting for me when I was prepping for this segment that the information said that bone disease accounts for more days in the hospital than heart attacks, breast cancer, and diabetes. For audience out there that may not be clear, what exactly is osteoporosis? Osteoporosis literally means porous bone. It's a serious bone disease that can occur when the body loses too much bone, makes too little bone, or both. And the result is the bones become weak and more fragile and more likely to break. And that's really what we're trying to prevent. So for people who may be out there who may be at risk in the broken bones, they may be even unaware of this disease. Who should be most concerned, Dr. Singer? Yeah, you're right. Because Many people are unaware because osteoporosis is a silent disease until somebody breaks something. We don't want it to get to that point. Everybody really should be concerned. There's no gender, nor is there any race or ethnicity that is safe from getting osteoporosis. But the people who tend to be at highest risk are, uh, as we age, this is a disease of aging. So the older we get, the greater the risk for fracture. The fracture, rather. Women tend to be more affected than men because they have smaller, less dense bones. There's certain underlying medical conditions and certain medications that we take that are bad for the bone that can put us at risk. Inactivity, people who smoke, excessive alcohol intake, number of behavioral and lifestyle factors that can also put us at risk for osteoporosis and fracture. So, Dr. Singer, as we're now, uh, especially here in Mississippi, we're really already feeling and enjoying, I may add, the fall weather, so the cooler months are definitely (laughs) here. As we head into winter, though, what are some things that our audience should think about when it comes to maintaining proper bone health? Well, you talk about the cooler months and why that becomes a concern, and one of the things is as it gets colder, we may be less likely to be outdoors and therefore less active, staying at home. So if we are more sedentary. That can lead to sometimes muscle weakness and loss, stiffer bones, and those things can increase the risk for falls. We also, one of the ways we get vitamin D is by being outside in the sun. And if we're not outside as much, vitamin D levels can fall. And we know that low vitamin D is a risk factor for osteoporosis and fracture and actually for falling as well. <clears throat> so maintaining activity, making sure that we're active, Uh, focusing on exercise and ways to move some of that indoors, getting rid of bad habits if we happen to do them, right? Smoking, alcohol, excessive caffeine, all of those things become very important all year round, but, you know, maybe with a renewed focus as it gets colder. That's a really great tip, especially for us coffee drinkers (laughs) out there. Dr. Singer, you mentioned, of course, because of the (laughs) cooler weather, we we are spending... Right, right. You mentioned because of the cooler weather, we may be spending more time indoors. But for those who are spending time indoor, even going outdoor, do you have some safety tips maybe for our audience for them to keep in mind? There are a number of things that we can think about to reduce the risk for falls. And falls are important because a fall is often the precipitating event for a fracture or a broken bone. If we think about in the house, 
removing things that we can trip over, so throw rugs, loose wires or cords, clutter, piles of things that may be in the way are something that we can do. Keeping areas well lit, especially around stairs or stairwells, but also think about nighttime, maybe using night lights. People get up to go to the bathroom during the night, and if they can't see where they're going, that can cause a fall perhaps. Outside, uh, wearing sturdy rubber-soled shoes, avoiding heels, especially in areas where we start to think about snow and ice, avoiding carrying large loads in our arms, especially around stairs, but in general, that can sometimes throw off balance and increase the risk for falls. So you get the idea. There are many things we can modify to try to increase safety. Dr. Singer, you mentioned something interesting earlier, and that was that, I mean, this is something that does not discriminate when it comes to bone health and bone disease. So when it comes to screening for osteoporosis, is there a certain age that our audience should be thinking about when they're thinking about screening for it? Well, throughout life, hopefully, a healthcare provider is asking questions to sort of screen for risk factors. But if we're talking about bone density testing, then if a woman is 65 or older or a man is 70 or older, she or he should have a bone density test, a DEXA scan if they've not had that yet. Younger postmenopausal women and younger men between the ages of 50 and 69, if they have an additional risk factor for osteoporosis, should be screened. And anybody who's 50 years of age or older and has broken something or younger people with other medical conditions or taking high-risk medications should also be screened. Right. A lot of great information. Again, everyone, Dr. Andrea Singer has been our guest, the Chief Medical Officer at the National Osteoporosis Foundation, giving us some great information when it comes to our bone health and better explaining exactly what is the bone disease known as osteoporosis. Dr. Singer, really appreciate you stopping by. Where can our audience go for more information? The audience can go to nof.org, which is the National Osteoporosis Foundation website, Uh, Starting later this afternoon, though, we have rebranded ourselves and will be the Bone Health and Osteoporosis Foundation, which really speaks to the fact that bone health encompasses healthy bones and prevention, as well as treatment of osteoporosis and prevention of fractures once disease occurs. So it's an exciting day for me to be here and to be able to share that news as well. I appreciate that, Dr. Singer. Thank you for all the great work that you're doing and for the time today for our conversation. Really appreciate it. Thanks so much for having me. Hey, glad to do it. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live, part of our News You Can Use segment here in Mississippi at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Now let's go make today amazing. Take care. <music> 